This video will review the various ways in which you can obtain detailed information on sensors. Once you've logged into the system and you have reached your dashboard page, the simplest and quickest way to access sensor information is using the tab on the left hand side of the screen. When you click on the tab it opens up a listing of all the sensors that are available in your view. When you select any one of the sensors, a page will appear that outlines a variety of different information. The sensor details section in the top left identifies the sensor, its current temperature, the sensor ID, the alarm range, if it's located within a group of other sensors, what group that is, the last reading, and whether or not the signal is strong. The 24-hour history in the upper right-hand side provides you with a graphic depiction of every temperature taken on this piece of equipment within the last 24 hours. In the bottom part, it'll let you know whether there were any alarms, any notes, associated with this particular piece of equipment, what the minimum and maximum range that was set for this equipment, and what the average temperature has been over the last 24 hours. The lower left-hand corner is the profile details. What this does is it gives you a quick view to the different profiles that have been set up for this piece of equipment. The logging profile, which determines how often temperatures are collected, the alarm profile, in this case it was set, all freezers have a profile that is set. Notifications and escalation profiles have not been set. These profile details will be covered specifically and in detail in another video. In the lower right hand corner is a listing of all the readings taken for this piece of equipment within the last 24 hours. Once you have reviewed all the detailed information that you need on the particular sensor you're interested in, remember that you can always go back to your dashboard screen by clicking on the TempTrack logo in the up, upper left hand side of the page.